So I kind of had to think about it, but I'm not sure. I've heard a lot of people actually talk about An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. I mean, I must have heard someone talk about it, but after reading it, I can't remember. I feel like I may have just seen it on Instagram a lot. I don't know. I don't know. So, um, starting the book, um, I got the biggest, like, World War II and Frank <laughs> kind of a uh, vibe to it. And I was like, ooh. <laughs> um, not really my cup of tea, so will I actually enjoy this book? <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, those were the like biggest vibes I got from like the start of it. And I was like, oh, not too sure about this one. But I continued it. I finished it. <laughs> uh, so we have kind of two plots going on throughout. So we have Leia. And uh, her brother was, like, taken, and to get him back, she sort of goes with the rebels, or goes to the rebels, and then the rebels sort of uh, puts her in as a spy to the non-rebel people. I'm not even sure. Are they called the rebels? I've forgotten. I'm so confused. Um, we're calling him that for now. And then we have Elias. And he's one of the non-rebel people. He's basically, uh, I think they were called like the mask or something. They have like a mask they put on these people. And then they sort of like go around and kill people just because they can confusion um but he's not really okay with it so he's um i guess in school and and he's <laughs> he's not really learning to kill people but he's training to kill people basically uh i mean those points didn't honestly make that much sense i didn't feel like i got that much backstory to the world like the world building of it all to actually properly is explain um the world of it uh i'm hoping i understand it more as i read the other books but from this first book not so much um i mean i i got it while i was reading it but also confusion um, but anyway, he doesn't really want to be one of those ghosts around killing people person. So his plan is to basically run away. But he's going to do it while he's graduated. So he's going to graduate and then run away because the chance of him getting like a day's head start before they chase him down and kill him is apparently bigger. <laughs> so many things, so many things. Um, yeah. So many things. Honestly, I kind of enjoyed enjoyed the story while I was reading it, but thinking about it now afterwards, I'm like, I don't know what actually happened. It's probably a I need to continue on with the series, and it's a good thing I have the other books as well, um, because <laughs> I'm so confused. Anyway, I'm gonna go into the second book and probably be as confused as I was with this one, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But saying that though, so there's like two plots going on, the Leia plot and the, um, the Ele Elias part. And thinking about it, so the, what's it called again? King of Scars, um, the third Grisha was, um series by Lee Bardugo that was also a two plot kind of a deal and that book was so these are two plots that couldn't go and be their own book so we could just put two plots together to kind of make a book 
but I didn't feel like that worked, but it kind of worked in this one because they actually come together, the two characters, they actually come together every now and again and be like, oh, hey, it's you again. Hi. <laughs> I know we're on opposite sides and all, but you know, cool. Nice to meet you. See you later. Um, it's interesting. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued to see more of this world. Actually, I want to see more of the world in general because um, I don't know so much about the world yet. Fingers crossed we'll find out soon. I like the characters though. I like them. Yeah. So, A Torch Against the Night. I kept calling it A Torch in the Night. Against in... Same, 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 it's not the same, <laughs> it's definitely not the same, um, so, second book, I kind of want to give it that second book sy syndrome thing, middle book syndrome, um, we have two more books left, uh, but, because, it feels like not a lot happened, <laughs> I mean, it did and it didn't, I did, I did, I did, I did, blah, 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 So, um, from, coming from book one, I, I like how I go, like, off camera thing. Coming from book one, I don't have the book. Uh, <laughs> I've returned it. So, coming from book one, Elias and Leia are now on the run. Because that was, that's what happens when you upset people in power. <laughs> you go on the run. Um, <laughs> but Leia is still like, um, determined to get her brother out of prison. Um, her brother, who, by the way, the information on him keeps going like, oh, he's in this prison, he's in that prison, he's in here, and he's, he's not alive anymore, he is alive. With <laughs> the confusion of the information, come on, come on. Literally, you cannot trust anyone who gives gives you any information in this book. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Leia is determined to get him out, of course. It was what she started in book one, so why should she just give that up? And Leia's is, well, he's like, well, he wants to help her. To any cost. <laughs> For any cost, to any cost one of those um and then we have a third perspective in this book so uh Elias's best friend from like growing up his whole life Helen um she <laughs> she's now been tasked to hunt down Elias and Leia and kill them I mean she doesn't wanna because it is still her best friend but at the same time she kind of has to because she has no other choice <sighs> So among that, um, she has a whole different kind of blah, blah, blah going on. So it's not like she actually has time to do the tasks that she's forced to do by the new emperor. Emperor? Yeah, he's an emperor. <sighs> so yeah, basically there's a lot of going, running back and forth and not really any progression. However, there was enough, like, backstabbing and intrigue to keep me going, but still, was it enough? I don't know yet. I don't know. We shall see. I do have, still have two more books left, so I'm gonna get to them as soon as possible so I can, you know, see the conclusion, because now I just want to know. I finished this book about two days ago now, and I'm still debating on what to actually say about it. But I need to return it to the library, so the only thing I can think of to say about this book without, you know, saying all the things, literally all the things from page one to however, however many pages there are, from front to end, front to back. So the only thing I can think of to say is, picture this, a long running TV series, a fantasy based TV series, where you have popular characters, maybe not so popular characters, mostly popular characters, 
uh, and super popular characters and then popular actors and not so popular actors not unlikable but still so picture that it's a long-running show and for some reason they have this popular character that the plot just happens to kill but because it's such a popular character they find a way to bring this character back but the plot says that this character should have died to make it to make the plot go to 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 actually make sense and not just bring him back and bring him back and bring him back and bring him back just because you still want that that actor that character in the show because they they are bringing in the numbers yeah th this book was kind of like that it's the character that should have died off they should have it's the character they should have killed off and let be gone now you make sense of what I've just said. So it's not inherently a bad book. The writing is very good, but the plot, it's so drawn out. And some of the things that happens just doesn't, not not make sense, but ugh, they don't feel needed. Um, some of the characters feel a bit overflown. I like, like there's there's no reason for them to be there but they're there they're not giving anything that's what i'm trying to say they're not giving anything <sighs> yeah mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah that's my take so on to book four and the last book of this series fingers crossed it wraps up it it wraps up the whole story nicely we'll see we'll see a Sky Beyond the Storm, the fourth book, and last. Where do I even begin? I just want to say, what, what, what even is this? What is this? Oh, good God. Um, so I figure I'd just do this. Uh, I can't really say much uh, what happens in the book and what my general consensus of it all is, except I... Mm. I finished the book, there's an ending, yes, I'm gonna have to return and just give a whole thing about the whole series, so yeah, I finished the book, I'll see you in a bit, I'm gonna have to think about this, okay, I'm gonna have to think about this. So, the premise of the first book was... I, I, I guess sort of good even with the World War two and Frank kind of vibe which is definitely not my kind of vibe but it it had it felt like it had a goal to it but then it just sort of went to hell or something I don't know what happened after that first initial book but basically uh this series was about three books too long yeah i i don't know what happened with the rest of the series because the books two to four doesn't really fit in first of all with each other but definitely not even with book one it's like it's four different books with four different stories which kind of has some sort of semblance of like a thin red line between them but also not does that even make sense i don't know i honestly don't know if this series made any sense but there we have it there we have it on the plus side though even though it's like a million pages long it was an easy read it was a fast read the the writing is very not simplified but it's simple and it's well yeah easy to read that's that's the gist of it i guess so there we have it thank you so much for watching have you read this series does it make sense to you if it does please explain it to me um yeah <laughs> let's have a chat about it
I I'm actually very curious so anyway thank you so much for watching I shall see you all next time until then take care oh, bye bye